Y'all read the title correctly, okay? I did my absolute hardest best. I tried my best to fix Apple Music's top 100 albums list, bro. This took me two days. I spent time. I don't think y'all understand, okay? I'm probably gonna get roasted in these comments. People are gonna call it trash. They're gonna say I know nothing about music. They're gonna say everything, okay? I dedicated time to this, bro. I spent so much time. I, I would say combined over everything, like I probably did stuff in the middle, I probably spent a solid six to eight hours conducting this list, bro. Of going through every album, every list, every everything, to conduct my own, listening back to stuff. I spent time on this, bro. I spent a night's worth of sleep on this list, okay? I put effort into this. So, if you think I'm an idiot, and you think I know anything about music, whatever, just know I put effort into this, okay? I put my heart and soul into this, okay? This album's not on it, by the way. I don't want you, I don't want to scare y'all. <laughs> this is not this is not a top of an album. It's just a cool shirt, okay? I don't want to scare y'all. I don't want to scare y'all now, okay? This did not make it, okay? Um, I think we just get right into this. I think we just get right into this. Let me go. Ah, I'm spoiling it. Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. Listen, listen. I almost spoiled <laughs> the top 100 greatest albums ever. Uh, Dilly Ren's 100 best albums. Okay, I made a whole slideshow for this. I put 100 different albums on a Google Slides for you guys. Okay, I'm just saying I spent time on this. Okay, so call it trash, call it whatever you want. I spent time on this. Okay, I made a Google Slides presentation on the best albums of all time. Dilly Ren's 100 best albums. Okay, the top 100 greatest albums of all time. Listen. When Apple Music did theirs, they had a rule. They, they didn't even have like rules. They had like how they made it. They said, we had all these different artists help out. They had like their explanation, but they didn't have rules. I have rules for mine, okay? Here are the rules. There's only two of them, okay? It's, the, the second one's not really a rule. It's just, there is only one album per artist slash band. So, I'll be fair. There's a lot of people, like, like how Apple Music did, like the Beatles. There's a lot of bands like that and a lot of artists that are deserving of two album placements on a top 100, okay? You can make an argument for literally like three or four Kanye albums. You really can. You can make an argument for three to four Kanye albums, five Beatles albums, multiple different albums from multiple different people. Outkast, they have two that I had to go in between. A lot of people have an argument for two, but I think it makes more sense to do it one per artist and per band. I think it just makes more sense, right? And number two, it's based on everything. Okay, so this is from impact to the actual quality and sound and how good the music is to every, it's just a cultural love and everything, everything. Okay, so there might be like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. So like say an album is like, it, it wouldn't be the deciding factor, but if an album's like both really good, like on the same talent and like sounding good level, but one is like the most influential, like great album ever. And they like changed all this and it, I'm probably gonna lean towards that. It's just, this is greatness, okay? These are great albums. You know what I mean? It's all based on greatness, okay? That's what I'm basing it off. There's not like a set rule list I'm basing it off. I try my best to make the most objective top 100 album list of all time. I think that's it, okay? I'm gonna get right into it. Um, and it's also 100 albums, so some of the big ones, some of the big ones I'm gonna spend a lot of time on, but a lot of them are like, obviously you're gonna put that there type albums. So I'm not gonna go super in depth on every single one because we would be here for like an hour. Or this video probably is an hour if you're, or what this stream is about to be an hour too. So it's gonna be a while regardless, right? I'm nervous. Okay, listen, I think we just go into it. I'm proud of my list. I spent a lot of time on it, okay? I reviewed it, I did everything. I did everything I could, okay? Did everything I could. Let's get into it, boys. Number 100, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go by Billie Eilish. Listen, this album was like number 30 for Apple Music. I put it number 100, okay? Um, I really like it. For like a pop record, it's super dark and like, I, I love Billie Eilish. I think she has some really good stuff. And I think this album is deserving to be on this list, but not as high as Apple Music had it. But I, it cracks the number 100 spot. Number 99. Hotel California by the Eagles. Another one that's like, obviously you're gonna put it on. It felt deserving of the list, but I think there's a lot better rock albums than this. Um, but it's a top 100 album, right? Number 98. It takes a nation of millions to hold us back by public enemy. Listen, Apple Music had this like, above Illmatic. They had it above Get Rich or Die Trying. They low-key overrated this album a lot. I love Public Enemy. It's on the top 100 greatest albums of all time list, okay? I love it, I respect it, but is it better than like a lot of the classic rap albums that they had it over? I don't believe so personally. So I have it at the number 98 spot. Great album though. 
97 back in black acdc it's just a bunch of hits it's a bunch of hits this is another one where it's like culturally and just like at the time hit song after hit song it deserves to be on here great rock album number 96 stereotype a by oh, i'm gonna say it wrong i literally learned how to say it and i forgot Chibo Matu, I think. I probably said that so wrong. Fuck, I'm sorry. I love this album so much. It's a little bit more of an underrated album. That's why it's not as high up. Um, but it is a mix of a bunch of different genres. It's a popular album, probably other parts of the world. Um, they're like a punk rock, also kind of hip-hop, but also kind of... It's a mix of a bunch of different stuff. It's awesome. I personally love this album a lot, and I felt wrong to have it off. But it's not as like popular as a lot of stuff. It's not as... like well known and it's a great album and I, I don't think there's many like bad songs on it at all but i couldn't see me putting it any higher than like the 90s so this definitely made it for me check it out if you've never heard this album go check it out if you're into stuff like i described it's like it's a mix of like punk rock rap a bunch of different genres i would check that album out i think it's fire number 95 attention deficit by wale um amazing rap album um, I feel like it gets a little disrespected nowadays. I feel like this is a amazing, amazing slept on rap album. Kind of in that like Kanye era, if that makes sense. It's, it's so good. Number 94, Pet Sounds by the Beach Boys. I think the Beach Boys are a tad bit overrated, but I think they deserved to be on the list. So I put them at number 94. Number 93, Ego Death by the Internet. I don't care what anybody says. This is kind of a, I feel like, unpopular opinion. I believe that this album is deserving to be in the top 100 greatest albums of all time. It has some of the most, it was one of the, some of the biggest songs at that time. Not like biggest songs, but like popular songs of that time. The quality of the music is insane. They have st early Steve Lacey, Sid's Amazing. This whole group was so good. And there's not like, I don't think there's a bad song in this entire album. And I think it is deserving to be in this conversation. I know it's still a little bit newer, but what is it? Like 10 years old now or something like that? This album is absolutely amazing. And I feel like it's it's getting disrespected, okay? I feel like it deserves to be on this list. Maybe this is a crazy opinion, okay? But I think that this album... Thank you, yes, the internet appreciation, exactly. I believe that this album is top 100 worthy, okay? Unpopular opinion, I'll take it. It's 93, okay? It's not number two. I'm putting it there. Number 92, Discovery by Daft Punk. I don't listen to Daft Punk, I'm not gonna lie. But I can appreciate what this album was for this specific genre. And I'm trying to, again, this is objectively, okay? I'm personally not playing this shit at all. But I feel like it deserves to be here. It was influential and it's the only song in this album in this genre I'm putting on here. Okay, number 91. This is a, this is a, this is a one. Number 91, 1989 by Taylor Swift, okay? Apple Music had this shit at 18, okay? I'm not putting it anywhere below 91. It's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. I respect Taylor Swift. I appreciate and respect what she is to music right now. She's the biggest artist in the game right now. She, every girl in America right now is a Taylor Swift fan. It's insane. And as much as a Kanye fan as I am, and I just, I don't, I'm not particularly crazy about her music, I can 1,000% uh, respect what she is to music right now and how good 1989 is. I was listening to 1989 when it came out a little bit. It was kind of fire. I liked it, okay? I respect Taylor Swift. I respect what she is to music and she's the biggest artist in the world right now. You can't take that away from her. She's a genius, like businesswoman. You got to respect it. You got to respect this, right? I put the Taylor's version cover. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not playing Taylor's version. I'm sorry. I'm about to get killed by Swifties, bro. I am not playing Taylor's version of nothing. I tried. I literally played the 1989 Taylor's version. Bro, it just sounds worse. The original mixes sound so much better. And like, respect the Taylor's version. Like, get your master's back. Get your money. Whatever. It worked, right? Me, personally, I'm playing the old one. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop talking about Taylor Swift because her fans are really scary. And I don't want to die. Number 90. Demon Days by Gorillaz. I was very surprised to not see any Gorillaz mentions or anything on the Top 100 Apple Music. Gorillaz, uh, basically a cartoon band. I think they're sick. They have some of the most popular songs of all time and just the quality of their music is insane. This is an amazing album. Um, oh my God, what's that other album they have? They have another album that could have been uh, in discussion for this, but I think this is their best project and I feel like they got slept on. I feel like they got slept on. Number 89, Daytona by Pusha T, okay? Uh, I 
think that Pusha T is one of the best rappers out of the past like 20 years. I think this is his best project to date. It's a very short one. Feel Good Ink is still in rotation. It's, I don't know you listen to Gorillaz Kicks. It's nice. 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 Um, Daytona's amazing. It's a short album. It's probably the shortest album here. Seven songs. Quit. Quick. Concise. It was a part of Kanye's 2018 seven song album run. I think it was the best out of all of them. I don't think there's one bad song off this entire album. And it started that beef with Drake. Um, Daytona's amazing, and I feel like... I was honestly surprised why this wasn't on here, too. But I also kind of get it, because it looks a little scary on first glance. I don't know, but I put it on here. Number 88, Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness by the Smashing Pumpkins. I'm trying to get on that. Dude, Smashing Pumpkins is just a... Man, teenage years. Number 87, 2014 Forest Hills Drive by J. Cole. I... No, this is an unpopular opinion. Is it? I don't know. Would people agree with this? I feel like J. Cole has proved himself enough to be on a list like this, and I think this album is good enough. I think this album proves itself to be a top 100 album. I don't think there's many bad songs in it at all. I think it's one of the best albums of the 2010s. I think it's a great rap album, and I'm not, I don't think I'm overrating it too much. It's at 87, okay? It's at 87. It's respectable. I don't think any other J. Cole album would honestly, like, I personally like KOD more, but this is a great album. This is his best album objectively, and I feel like it deserved to be uh, top 100. I feel like it deserved to be top 100. Number 86, Enema of the State by Blink-182. I love Blink-182. Uh, again, they probably get clowned. Oh, no! Oh, my God, I spoiled one. Oh, my God, I spoiled one. I spoiled one. Okay, Blink-182 made it. Let's just get on to what it is, bro. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> okay, ignore how memeable and ugly and kind of just eh, Ed Sheeran is, okay? Ed Sheeran is one of the biggest artists of all time. Like, three songs off of this album have over like a billion views on YouTube. And they're kind of, they're good songs. They're good songs, okay? He's so easy to make fun of, I understand. But he's Ed Sheeran, like he's a very talented artist. I feel like he's a little overhated, okay? And I don't want to, I don't want to, I know, I know, I don't want to be looked at as like the Ed Sheeran fan, okay? I don't want that label on me because I honestly don't listen to this dude. Oh my god, he does, he does have some bangers though. People fall in love in my, like that's good bro, come on, come on, that's good. That's a good song, that's a good song, bro. I put it at 85, okay? Again, I'm not overrating it. I just feel like Divide by Ed Sheeran's his best album. And Ed Sheeran's one of the most popular and, like, he's a great artist from the past 10 years, bro. I'm putting it on here, okay? Call me all you want. Number 84, Crosby, Stills, and Nash by Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Old little group. Uh, I think it's a great album. And I think it was deserving to be here. Number 83, Doggy Style by Snoop Dogg. Classic rap album. I think uh, Apple Music had this right where they had it. Um, I think they had it right. I don't know. I don't remember where they had it exactly, but I think it was somewhere around this range. Um, it's one of those albums that deserves to be here, but it's nothing, nothing too crazy. It's, it's Snoop though. It's Snoop. You know what I mean? A Fever, you, oh, number 82, A Fever You Can't Sweat Out by Panic at the Disco. Okay? Everybody just knows this album for the, I chime in with the, haven't you people ever heard of? Like, I get that. But this album is amazing. If you haven't actually listened to this album, listen to it. There's not one bad song. It is so good. This album is so good. I love Panic at the Disco. I'm a new fan, not gonna lie. Probably in like the past two years I started listening to him. This album is really good, okay? This album is amazing, all right? May number 82. 81, Surfer Rosa by Pixies. Again, oh my God, that's a tit. Um, again, a lot of people probably just know this album for that one, uh, Where Is My Mind? Ah! Where Is My Mind song? Um, but the album is really good. I'm gonna go forward now. Number 80, Alive by Kiss. Uh, I saw Kiss, Kiss get clowned the other day. They were literally clowning on Kiss and saying it was a band for little kids. And I listened, this was one of the albums I actually listened back to. This album is still amazing. Some of the popular songs of all time. Um, it's just good. It's just a fun rock album. Kiss is cool. Who hates on Kiss? I feel like they deserve to be here. I don't think this album was on Apple Music's Top 100, but I feel like put some respect on Kiss's name, you know? That's the top 20, or the bottom 20 so far. Number 79, Rodeo by Travis Scott. This is the Travis Scott album that should have made it, okay? Respect to Astroworld. I know I'm known as like an Astroworld hater now. Rodeo is better than Astroworld, okay? Rodeo is his best album. It's not even close, okay? And respectfully, I'm taking an album like Utopia over Astroworld. I'm taking Birds in the Trap sing McKnight over Astroworld, okay? Travis has much better albums than Astroworld, okay? Astroworld, being on Apple Music's list, was disgusting, okay? 
This is the perfect placement for this. Rodeo is his best album, and I'm putting it at number 79. Number 78. Good news for people who love bad news by Modest Mouse. Again, uh, people kind of just know this album for that one Float On song, but the album is amazing. Float On was one of my like childhood hits, so maybe I'm biased on this one, but who cares? It's number 78. It's a great album. Number 77, The Black Parade by My Chemical Romance. We're getting emo on this one, okay? Amazing album. I was at a festival one time. My Chemical Romance was not even playing, right? They weren't even there. Weren't even there. And they played the beginning of Welcome to the Black Parade. I swear, this whole crowd started singing that shit, bro. The whole crowd started going crazy. Whole crowd. When I was a young boy. It's so good. Um, and yeah, if you're trying to be on some emo shit, this is the album. Number 76, School's Out by Alice Cooper. Shout out to Alice Cooper. I'm surprised. I don't think I saw him on the list either. Alice Cooper is one of the best rock stars ever. And I feel like he got snubbed. I'm putting School's Out 76. Number 75, Sour by Olivia Rodrigo. I know what y'all are going to say, okay? But if we are putting SOS by SZA on the top 100, how is this album not on here, okay? There was a point in time where she had like the Taylor Swift effect. Every girl on earth and some men including this guy was listening to this album okay her last album trash this one is a top 100 album of all time i don't care it's it, it is so good it has the popularity it has the hits it is so good it is a good album this is a good well put together album okay and i know as a man how you look listening to sour by olivia rodrigo but push that to the side this is a great body of work okay and y'all are lucky i didn't put it higher Y'all are lucky. It is number 75. If SOS by SZA is a top 100 album, this is too. But I don't think SOS is, and I think this is. Number 74. Skip Chasing by Mild High Club. Amazing project. Um, again, some of these, there's not much to say. It's just an amazing album. This came out, I think, like 2019. Uh, great album. If you haven't heard it, you probably heard Homage. Uh, that, that was like a TikTok song. Um, yeah, Sour is so good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Men are allowed to listen. Why do I have one curl in my hair? Which side is that? Whatever, it's fine. Um, men should be allowed to listen to Olivia Rodrigo. Okay? That should be acceptable. Anyway, Skip Chasing Mild High Club, 74. A Love Supreme by John Coltrane, 73. I wanted to put it higher. I listened to it back. I, I love, I love this album. But I feel like there's better jazz projects out there. And I couldn't put it higher than 73. I could totally see the argument though. I could totally see the argument. I'm a jazz head. And I also try to put my bias aside because if it was me personally, I'm putting it way higher, right? But this is an objective top 100 albums of all time. So I have it at 73. I needed it on here, but I put it at 73, okay? Because the internet by Childish Gambino. I was really surprised to see no Childish Gambino. Oh my God, I forgot I was gonna do that. Sorry, sorry, I forgot I was gonna do that. It's the gift, sorry. Anyway, um, I was really surprised to see no Childish Gambino on the list at all. I was between this one and Awaken My Love. I went back between all the songs and honestly, I like Because the Internet and I think Because the Internet is better. I like the story behind it. It has the hits. It has a bunch of different genres. I think Because the Internet's amazing. I mean, I got it right behind me. What are we saying? Come on now, I have it right behind me. Um, I think it's great. I think it's a really great album, and I think Gambino deserved his respects on this. We're not putting Astroworld, and we're, we're not putting Astroworld on this list, and not because of the internet, bro. That's just not happening. That's not happening, bro. Number 71, Currents by Tame Impala. Did you guys know Tame Impala is only one person? Number 70, Come Away With Me by Nora Jones. Beautiful, jazzy, this girl sings like a god. It's actually insane. She is so good, uh, and yeah, she's amazing. I actually discovered Nora Jones through the Ted movie, Seth MacFarlane's Ted movie, Nora Jones performed and she has some pretty chords and a nice voice and I listened to this album and nearly brought me to tears, to my knees, it was insane. Come Away With Me, uh, number 70, number 69, LOL, The Score by Fugees. Again, I was surprised to see The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill at number one in no Fugees respect, bro. What? Huh? How we're not gonna put the Fugees the score, but we're gonna put The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill? And I love the miseducation of Lauren Hill. Should, yeah, obviously. Obviously you put that that high up, right? But you got to put the Fugees in the top 100 then. And you can't say it's because she was already on the list. They put two Beatles albums. Okay, buddy? Number 68. Some rap songs by Earl Sweatshirt. Okay? I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion. 
but I think this is one of the best rap albums of all time. I think it flows so well together. It's so dark and like sad and just, it makes you feel a way that like most albums just can't. It is such a dark album, but it is so amazing. I will defend this album to the day I die. It took me everything not to put this album higher, okay? I think this album needs its respect even more than it already has. People already know how good this album is. And I think this can be looked back as literally a classic album. This album is that good. It is that good. It is that good. Um, so I put Earl on here. Number 67, Chunga's Revenge by Frank Zappa. Frank Zappa's best album. Was surprised to not see him either. It's a mix of jazz stuff, rock stuff. This is one of the most diverse albums of all time. It's insane. It is insanely diverse. Number 66, Circles by Mac Miller. Rest in peace to the late Mac Miller. I was also surprised not to see this. Um, an album with no bad songs. Sadly, a last statement from uh, the late Mac Miller. And it's just a beautiful project. Um, just uh, honestly kind of sometimes a hard listen just because it's like, yo, it, it's just emotional now. Uh, especially because just the context of everything. And even if, even if that wasn't the background, the album is just that good. It is an amazing body of work. Um... It's an amazing project and just everything uh, totality wise. I was very surprised to not see this album either. Or, and no Mac Miller at all. Like no kids, no swimming, no go, go OD AM, no nothing. No, I was surprised to see that, but who am I? Number 65, The Infamous by Mob Deep. Rap legendary album. I feel like, didn't Apple Music have this album super high? I love Mob Deep. <laughs> I don't know if this is embarrassing to admit. I started listening to them after 8 Mile. The last song really. <laughs> I told you I'm an Eminem fan, bro. I got hate on my last video for saying that Eminem was an overrated battle rapper, which we will get to someday. <laughs> we will get to that. But I am the biggest Eminem fan and have been since I was a little kid. Like, Kixon's in this chat can attest to this, bro. I have my whole swag in sixth grade from 8 Mile, bro. I had the beanie with the hood over it. It was insane, right? Anyway, um, Mob Deep is amazing. This album is amazing. Uh, Survival of the Fittest is my favorite song off it, and it's classic. Number 64, American 4, The Man That Comes Around, The Man Comes Around by Johnny Cash. This album, if you look into the history behind it, is so interesting to me. Um, he was in kind of a rough spot in his career, met up with the legendary Rick Rubin, and they started cooking up, and Rick Rubin brought something out of this man. This album has the uh, the cover of Hurt. That's really popular by Johnny Cash now. Um, this album is beautiful. Uh, I had to put some cash on here, and I felt like this was the best project uh, to do so. Number 63, Rebel Yell by Billy Idol. I am... I will admit, I love the 80s. I don't know why. I've gotten older. I think the 80s are the sickest decade of all time. I think the 80s are so sick. And this album just like gives that 80s vibe to it. It is so sick. Everybody's heard the title track, Rebel Yell. But there's a lot of different amazing songs. Eyes Without a Face. Like, dude, there are insanely good songs off this record. Um, and I'm a sucker for the 80s. So I have a 63. And I think it's deserving to be there. Number 62. Chet Baker Sings by Chet Baker. Why was there no Chet Baker on this list, bro? Maybe it's because I'm just a big Chet Baker fan. But, like, we have other jazz projects on here. I, I think Chet Baker's a little underrated, okay? And I think he deserves to be here as well. I This is the one I was a little confused about, though, okay? I tried not to put any, like, compilation albums. Like, no greatest hits, obviously. Um, like, none of that. I can't... Like, I, I'm pretty sure this is just a normal album, right? But it has like all of his top songs. So if this is like a compilation album and I misunderstood it, that's my bad. Um, but I believe this is just a regular studio album that came out. I tried looking into it and it didn't really give me any answers. So I have it here. But if it's like a compilation album, my fault. I should put that in the rules. Never mind. Number 61. Oh, wait. What the frick? Dummy by Portishead. Uh, yeah, I think Apple Music had it a little bit higher than I have. It's still an amazing record. Um absolutely amazing i'm not crazy about a lot of it i think some of it i might get cooked for this i think some of it's a little boring sometimes but there's this oh my god the most popular song off it's amazing it's a great album and i see why people love it it's just sometimes it's, it don't really hit for me but it'll probably hit for me a few years from now number 60 black sunday by cypress hill cypress hill is so fire i got to see cypress hill live bro they were so sick they played jump around for some reason i don't know why they did that it's not their song but whatever uh this album is amazing though um, if you're into the inhalation of Marijuana, you would probably really like this album. Number 59, 
Long live ASAP by ASAP Rocky. Is this a crazy pick? Is this a crazy pick? I'm sorry, okay? Maybe it's recency bias. I don't know, but this album came out in like 2011. Banger after banger. ASAP Rocky is underrated, bro. I'll say it. I'll say it. I think this is a top 100 album of all time, okay? I think it's a top 100 album of all time. FM Problems, go, like, oh my god, there's so many good songs off this album. And what it meant at that time... Like, I don't know, man. I think I think we're far enough removed to say this is a top 100 album of all time, bro. If you're going to give it to any album from, like, that era, I think ASAP should have been on it. Maybe it's a little high. I can see that argument. Okay, maybe you want to put it more the 80s and 90s. I think it's this good, though. I think it is this good. And I think it's beating a lot, like, every album before it. I think it's beating, yeah, easily top 100. Thank you. Uh, I have a 59. I have a 59. Number 58. At last by Etta James. Some good singing jazz, you know what I mean? I love Etta James. It's a beautiful project. You can't argue against this. And why was this not on here, Apple Music? God, bro. Damn, good album. Number 57. Salad Days by Mac DeMarco. I was, I, like, is this not top 100? I, again, I'm surprised to see this. Does this album have one bad song? It has the hits and it has the quality. I don't see how it's not top 100. You know what I mean? And I, I feel like, I feel like, you can say I'm biased towards new stuff, but I can make the same argument that they're a little too biased for old stuff. Very, very good album, but it makes me so sad. That's, yeah, it's that good. It can make that emotion out of you, bro. And there's some albums that's like beachy and stuff like that. It's like, I think Mac DeMarco is one of the best artists of our generation of the past 10 years. He is amazing. Um, and I think it's deserving to be here. I feel like they're kind of disrespecting a lot of what the 2010s was. You know what I mean? Number 57. Oh no, number 56. 2001 by Dr. Dre. I was to say it, Apple Music had the wrong Dr. Dre album. The Chronic is great. 2001 is Dr. Dre's best project. I don't, I don't understand what led to that being number. I, 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 I don't get why The Chronic was over 2001. I don't understand that. Me personally, I don't understand that. I feel like 2001 is the obvious pick. The more hits, the more bangers, the better songs, better production, better everything. It's better. I know what The Chronic was influence-wise. I know what The Chronic meant to rap. But it's 2001. Come on, it's 2001. It's 2001. Uh, number 55. I'm Wide Awake, It's Morning by Bright Eyes. Bright Eyes is such... They are so good. They are so good. How did this album not make it? How did this album not make it? This came out in the 2000s, I believe. How is this album not talked about more? How is it not talked about more? This is a top 100 album of all time. Number 54. The Predator by Ice Cube. I won't... I honestly don't remember, but I don't think they had this. And I don't, ha I don't know how. I don't know how. Ice Cube, uh, I love this project. He has another album. What was the other album called? I think it's called Death Certificate or something. He has, it's like his foot has a stamp on it on the cover and it has that one like Easy E diss track on it. This album is classic. It's timeless. It was after his NWA days and he was going stupid. It's a, I, I, I you know what I mean? The Predator. <laughs> That's a crazy title. <laughs> I love this album though and uh, deserve to be here. Number 53. Highway 61 Revisited by Bob Dylan, my Dylan brotherin. They're making a movie about this guy. Timothy Chalamet, clutch up. It better be good. Okay? Don't disrespect Dylans. All right? Also, my name is spelled D-Y-L-A-N, not D-I-L-L-O-N. Okay? I know my name is Dilly now. I know it says on my YouTube thing or whatever. My name is spelled like this. Don't disrespect me. Okay? This, I'm one of these Dylans, not the weird ones. Okay? Anyway, this album is classic. It's amazing. Um, and I was named after him. So, number 53. Tie shit. Number f oh also they had a lot higher I honestly like I love Bob Dylan he's great but I don't think it's top fifty I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest I don't think it's top fifty um number fifty two Dookie by Green Day um apparently Green Day fans aren't as crazy about Dookie as other albums I don't see how you put any other Green Day album though to be honest out of all the Green Day albums it's Dookie you know what I mean uh personally I might say I might say an album like American Idiot I may say an album I might I might say another like Dose or something I might I might say another one. But, for a top 100 greatest albums of all time list, I'm putting Dookie. I'm putting Dookie on there. I'm putting that Dookie on there. Number 51. Is this it by The Strokes? Last night. So good. It, I don't even have to say anything. It's The Strokes. It's Is This It. Um, I believe Apple Music got this pretty good. I remember where they had it, but I remember not being mad about it, okay? Boys, we are in the official top 50, okay? This is where shit gets crazy, all right? We're going into the top 50. That was my top 50, okay? And so far, I'm cooking! I don't care, I'm cooking, bro. I feel like so far, I've made an objectively good list, okay? And if you compare that later 50 to Apple Music's, I think I'm cooking, okay? The top 50 gets interesting, though. I'm not gonna lie, 
some things may get a little controversial. All right, and that's okay, and that's all right. Number 50, Baduism by Erica Badu. Yeah, I think they have this album as well. Um, Mama's Gun has an argument, but I think Baduism is better. Um, 49, Man on the Moon by Kid Cudi. Where was this at? Where was Man on the Moon? I will fight on this one, okay? The other ones, eh, whatever, okay? I can see arguments, whatever. This is a top 100 album of all time. I don't care. Influence-wise, you can say 808s and Heartbreaks is the album that brought that sad trap singing rapping Drake type thing into mainstream that turned into Juice World Uzi. You can say it started there. This was the album that amplified it, okay? Every top artist from that era of the singing auto tune, whatever, they were listening to Kid Cudi, okay? Your favorite rapper right now was listening to Kid Cudi, okay? Kid Cudi is like that. This album is classic. And to not see a top 100, I don't care, was insane. That was crazy work, bro. That was crazy work. There's no argument you can put against this album. I don't care. I'll fight that one. I'll fight that one. This is top 100, okay? Number 48, The Low End Theory by A Tribe Called Quest. I can see why you would want to be higher, okay? But on my personal list, I have a lot of albums over it. Um, this project is amazing though. There's nothing bad that you can say. No one, dude, you did not just say speeding bullets to heaven snuffed. I don't hate that album as much as other people do. I swear to God, I don't. I swear to God, I don't. Do I think it's good? No, but I don't, I don't think it's that bad. It's not that bad. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, The Low End Theory by A Tribe Called Quest. Yeah, this project is amazing. I need to go back to this album more. I, I love this. I love this project. Um, it's, it's damn near perfect. Um, there's just a lot of good albums. There's just a lot of good albums. I'm sorry. If you want to make the argument that this one's higher, I won't fight you on that at all. I could totally see it on my personal but objective top 100 greatest albums of all time. I have a 48. Uh, sorry for the burp. Number 47. In My Mind by Pharrell Williams. Another snub. Another snub. I don't care. And I saw that Pharrell Williams was actually part of deciding which albums made it. I'm sorry. If I'm Pharrell Williams and I made it in my mind, I'm fighting for this album to be top 100, okay? I feel like there should have either been some N-E-R-D appreciation or put in my mind on there. Again, another super influential album. All of the top artists, your favorite artist was listening to In My Mind back in 06, bro. He was. Not a bad song on this project. It's got the hit. It doesn't, it's not as popular as some other songs. But it's top 100. What are we talking about? It's Pharrell. I think Pharrell's the GOAT. Not, not the GOAT, but one of the GOATs. Producing wise, they'll go. Number 46, Exodus by Bob Marley. Um, out of all the Bob Marley albums, um, at first I was just gonna put the compilation one, but I was like, oh, that's not fair. Um, but Exodus is his best album by far, I believe. So I have it on here. Sorry, I didn't put Bob Marley and The Wailers. It just says Bob Marley, but you get the point. Number 45, The Execution of All Things by Relo Kylie. I think I'm saying it right. Um, maybe this one is a personal bias. The song with Snoop, Pusha, and Ye in my rotation heavy. Fuck, what's that song called? Oh, wait, no, yeah, I'm trying to think of the one with Snoop. What's the one with Snoop? Is, 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 uh, this girl, it, it, this girl, something, uh, that girl, that girl, is that, is that girl with Snoop? I think that girl's with Snoop, right? Fuck, dude. You're making me feel like a fake Pharrell fan. Whatever, whatever. The Execution of All Things by Rilo Kylie. This album is amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, and, yeah, that's it. 44. News of the World by Queen. I think this is the best Queen pick. Um, I was debating, honestly, I wanted to, but I feel like it was my personal. I like Play the Game a lot. I feel like Play the Game is an amazing Queen album, but if you're gonna give it to a Queen album, it's news of the world. Um, Queen just has so many single hits that are like just spread across their discography that it's hard to like pick on one album to be up there. But yeah, was there even a Queen album? Was there a Queen album on Apple Music's Top 100? I don't think there was a Queen album. I don't think there was one Queen album, which is insane by the way. Number 43, The Carter 4 by Lil Wayne. Fight me! The Carter 4 by Lil Wayne. This album, when it came out, what it meant to rap, it's just him flexing on people. He's doing so many different genres. There's guitar love songs. There's him rapping. Like I've, I, There is still not many people I can say can rap on the par of a Lil Wayne. Okay? And the Carter 4, I feel like, is his best project. People are going to argue, whatever. I think the Carter 4 is his best project. And did not see any Lil Wayne? Not one of the Carters? None? Come on, it's Lil Wayne! 
It's Lil Wayne. Come on. I know they, they don't want to seem too biased towards rap, but like, give Lil Wayne his respect, bro. You're not putting "Take Care" by Drake and not Lil Wayne on here, bro. You're not putting the Carter Four on. You're not snubbing the Carter Four and putting like a "Take Care" on it, bro. You're not doing that. Number forty-two. Are you experienced by Jimi Hendrix? Sorry, I didn't put "by" Jimi Hendrix right there. Uh, user Air. I think this is the best Jimi Hendrix album. You can put a Electric Ladyland. I can see the argument, but I think this one is his most well polished and best listen. Best listen. And Jimi Hendrix is, uh, in my opinion, best guitar player of all time. So obviously, he deserves to be here. Number 41, Rumors by Fleetwood Mac. Okay, maybe maybe this is a crazy pick. I know this is the album that everyone's like, oh my gosh, it's the best ever. It's the best one ever. Um, I put it on the list. I think it's overrated. I think it's overrated. I think Rumors by Fleetwood Mac is overrated. It is amazing, okay? And overrated doesn't mean bad. I've been trying to explain this to people forever. Overrated does not mean the album is bad, okay? That's not what that means at all. It just means people take what it is and overrate it, okay? That's all. That's it. That's it. I think it's 41, okay? It's 41. It's the 41th greatest album of all time, okay? I'm only picking 40 albums to be better than all time. I don't want to hear it, okay? It's on the list. Top 40 boys, number 40, Paranoid by Black Sabbath. I think they did have this album. Um, Black Sabbath is amazing. Ozzy Osbourne is amazing. Um, and yeah, it deserves to be here. Super weird, creepy album. It's just, it's a, I love it personally, um, but it was definitely weird even for like its time. And even now it's like a whoa album, but I still love it. Number 39, Let It Bleed by the Rolling Stones. Why was Exile on whatever on this list and not Let It Bleed? I, I personally don't understand it. You, I guess you could say you may prefer it, but like on a greatest albums of all time, you're not going to put Let It Bleed? You're not going to put Let It Bleed? You're going to put Exile on 4th Street or whatever it was, bro? I feel like that's the wrong Rolling Stones pick. Um, at least they had the Stones on it. I'm putting Let It Bleed number uh, 39. This album is amazing. Again, if it was personal bias, I may even have it higher. Um, but yeah, Let It Bleed, I think, is uh, uh, from every angle better than the one they had. Um, number 38, Get Rich or Die Trying by 50 Cent. I was upset that this album was like 82 or something like that. I go online and people are saying this album shouldn't even be on the top 100. Are y'all dumb? Are you stupid? What? This is one of the best rap albums of all time. I genuinely thought everyone was on the same accord that this is a classic, amazing rap album. But apparently not. Y'all need to go back to Get Rich or Die Trying, bro. This album is amazing, okay? It's, I, I, don't, I, I genuinely don't understand why people are disrespecting this album now. Um, and I don't like it, okay? It's number 38. It deserves to be here, okay? Take Care by Drake, number 37, okay? I thought about this for a long time. I thought about this for a long time. I will say, I was in between Take Care, and y'all aren't gonna like this, Views. I debated putting Views on this because... Personally, I think Views is an amazing album. It's my favorite Drake album. It has the hits, and it has the bangers. It has the rapping. It has all of Drake's best, and I think it's underrated. Um, but I ended up going with Take Care. I do think Take Care is a little bit more polished. I feel like there's less misses, because there's some big misses on Views, okay? I feel like this one has less misses. And yeah, I would agree. I was also between Nothing Was The Same. Nothing Was The Same was also a big consideration. Um, but I think, I think they got it right putting Take Care on here. Um, and my problem, I guess, with Take Care being on their list is because who they left out, okay? You can't have a Take Care and then not have a Lil Wayne. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm consistent with mine, okay? So I think Drake Take Care does deserve to be here, but you gotta be consistent with it. <clears throat> Sorry for the burp. Number 36. Number 36. The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars by David Bowie. I love this project. Who doesn't love David Bowie? It's David Bowie. Uh, I don't think any other David Bowie's albums are in the conversation um i thought you liked the other drake albums more i i like views the best i don't even know what my ranking would be bro take care is going on me a lot over the past year i love nothing was the same it was between views take care nothing was the same i ended up going with take care on the best albums of all time list if it was personally i'm probably putting i'm probably putting views and even personally i might personally like nothing was the same more but i think greatest i think it goes to take care i think it does i think they got that right uh, but yeah, anyway, David Bowie, who doesn't love David Bowie, bro? He's a great album, classic. It's just a classic. It's just a classic. Number 35, Licensed to Ill by the Beastie Boys. Did they even have this album on here? I think they had another Beastie Boys album or something like that. I don't know, but I don't remember seeing this, and I was very confused why. Um, this album is classic. This is a classic album. 
uh, hits, bangers. Uh, the rapping over these rock guitar. It was like it's it's the definition of being like 13 years old and thinking you're hard. It's very much like Kiss, like how people describe Kiss now. That's the Beastie Boys. And please do yourself a favor. Don't watch the Beastie Boys perform live. I watched it and I was disgusted. They're the most fratty, gross-looking humans of all time. I watched them live and they look disgusting. Not personally live, but like on YouTube. I don't know why it pissed me off. They were just so annoying to me, bro. But anyway, this album is amazing and deserved to be here. What's going on by Marvin Gaye, number 34? I know. I know. I know. I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. I'm sorry. I know what you're going to say. I'm sorry. I tried. I went back to it and I compared it to other albums. This is where I ended up having it, bro. I'm sorry. Marvin Gaye, I love you so much. This album is so amazing. It's 34 on the top 100. It's that good, okay? But... I, I couldn't put it higher. I know some people have this in their top 10. People have it in their top 15. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tried. I have to be honest with myself. Um, I'm taking a lot of albums over it, bro. Respect the Marvin Gaye. Respect the Marvin Gaye. Okay? I understand. If you're mad, I understand. I'm sorry. I have it 34. I have what's going on Marvin Gaye 34. Number 33. All Eyes on Me by Tupac. All right? Uh, a lot of people were also saying that All Eyes on Me didn't deserve to be on the list. Are y'all crazy? It's considered to be one of the greatest rappers of all time and his best project, and I think this album's amazing. I think out of all the Tupac albums, I'm not a crazy Tupac fan, but I can respect that this is one of the greatest albums of all time. This is his most polished body of work. Um, and yeah, I don't see why you wouldn't put it in uh, the top 100 list. I have it 33. I think it's that good. Number 32. Enter the Wu-Tang 36 Chambers by Wu-Tang Clan. I love Wu-Tang Clan. Wu-Tang Clan gang, nothing to fuck with. I love this album. Personally, I'd probably have it higher. I love this album a lot. Um, but yeah, I have it at 32. Um, I think they put it over a lot of albums. Like, again, I'll bring up the Illmatic. I don't think it's better than Illmatic at all. Um, but I think it's. I think this is a good placement. I think I'm happy with this placement for Wu-Tang. Um, give Wu-Tang their respect. Number 31. Pieces of a Man by Joe Scott Heron. I'm, I don't think I said his last name right at all. I was very surprised not to see this project at all. I think influence-wise, culturally relevance-wise, and music-wise, I feel like it checks every box, and I was very surprised not to see it. And again, I'm a huge fan of him, so maybe I'm biased, but I don't see how you leave this album off. Maybe 31's a little high. But I don't see how you leave this album off a top 100 list. For everything, all things considered, I didn't understand that at all. I did not understand how this album got stubbed at all. Okay? This album was revolutionary at the time. What it meant at the time was everything, like, politically, like, everything that went into this album. I was very surprised. Boys, here we go. This is where, this is where things get clutch. Okay? Mouth is getting dry. Damn, I've been yapping. Damn. Oh my lord, how long have we been talking for? Oh my god, there's no way it's almost been an hour. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, boys. Uh, stretch out, stretch out. Top 30, okay? Top 30. Again, this is where shit gets controversial a little bit, okay? You might see some pics you don't like. That's tough, okay? Top 30. Number 30. I'm gonna go a little bit slower for these, okay? Number 30. Stanktonia by Outcast. I see the argument for Aqua Mini Mini, but I, I think Stanktoni is the obvious pick. I was honestly very confused how this album did not make it. Um, again, when you're talking about the greatest, you're talking about the greatest albums of all time. How do you not put this album on here? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Me personally, I don't get it. I have Stanktoni at number 30. Number 29, American Beauty by The Grateful Dead. Did they have any Grateful Dead? They should have, because this album is amazing. Um, I don't know many between 40 and 50 year olds personally that aren't deadheads bro i swear to god they're everywhere it's insane uh the impact at the time was insane um and as an album it's amazing everyone always tells you that's a grateful dead fan they a grateful dead fan they always tell you when they're like you can't you can't listen to the albums you have to listen to them in person i completely disagree maybe because i'm an album head i love albums more than live performances i'm an album like i love bodies of work i love it i love projects this album is amazing. Like, listening to it as a studio album, the recordings of it, it's amazing. So I disagree with everyone that says that about The Grateful Dead, and I think this is one of the top 30 best albums of all time. Number 28. The Money Store by Death Grips. I'm sorry! It's on here! 
I told you I'm putting it on here, and it's here. The money store by Death Grips made my list. I don't care, okay? Influence-wise, there is not a Yeezus without the money store. There is not a Cherry Bomb by Tyler without the money store. There is, it's an underrated, okay? And I know a lot of people, I know the narrative around Death Grips, okay? I understand. I understand the narrative, okay? But this is one of the greatest albums of all time, okay? What it meant to the 2010s, it kicked off the 2010s. It was so influential and experimental. It's a great project. I don't think there's one bad song on here. And I get if you don't like Death Grips, they're a little insane. But as, like, of all the Death Grips albums you could listen to, I feel like it's the most, like, you could listen to this. You could show this to some people and it'd be a little bit, it'd go over better, okay? I understand. I understand, okay? If you don't like Death Grips, whatever. I get they're a little crazy on some albums. I feel like anyone can like this album, bro. A little experimental, I get it. But I'm putting Death Grips on 28, bro. Sorry. Number 27. Purple Rain by Prince. This one's also a little controversial. Okay, this is another one like what's going on where a lot of people have it really high up. I have it 27. Again, I tried. I tried. I have it at 27, bro. I have it at 27. Okay? I have it at 27. I gave it its respect. It's an amazing album. I just feel like there's 26 albums better. That's not much you can else can say. There's nothing bad you can say about Purple Rain. There's just 26 better albums. Right? Number 26, Goodbye Yellow Brick, Yellow Brick Road by Elton John. This was the right Elton John pick. Uh, I agreed with their pick. They had it a lot higher up on the list, though. I have They had it a lot lower on the list. I have it number 26. I think it's that good. And shout out to Elton John, man. Top 25 time, boys. Number 25, 444 by Jay-Z. I think 444 is Jay-Z's best album, okay? I think it's his most collected, like, the perspective that he gives on this album I believe I, I like this album and I think it's better than the blueprint. I think it's better than the blueprint. It's between this and the blueprint. I get it. They put the blueprint number 13. I thought that was insane. I think 44 is his best album. I think it's a great like perspective from a, the first rapping billionaire. He's with a family not like I think I just think I think I think it deserved to be here. I think 44 444 was better than the blueprint. So I have a number 25. Number 24. Hot Fuss by The Killers. Um, everyone knows this just for Mr. Brightside, but this album has some bangers. I remember it. Oh, man. No, like, it's amazing. I love The Killers. I feel like this album slept on. I feel like it slept on, and I feel like it's deserving to be here. I, I could see maybe a little bit high. It's maybe a little high, but that's where I have it. Number 23, Straight Outta Compton by N.W.A. Where did they have Straight Outta Compton? I should have wrote down where they have it, bro. This is, talk about influence and just quality of music. N.W.A. Straight Outta Compton, one of the greatest rap albums of all time. Um, there was no one doing it like N.W.A. back in the day, bro. No one was doing it like him. No one was doing it like N.W.A., bro. And they're number 23, and they deserve to be there. Number 22, Mad Villainy by Mad Villain. Where was this album? Where was it? Where was it? And again, I'm going to hear it. Rap bias, whatever. Where was this album, bro? Get rid of whatever. I don't care. This is one of the greatest albums of all time, okay? This was deserving to be here. People think this is one of the best rap albums of all time, but they're not going to put it on the top 100? That doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. Rest in peace to the late, great, MF Doom, Mad Villain. This album is amazing, okay? Number 21, The Stranger by Billy Joel. Um, I think they had a different Billy Joel album. This album is perfect to me. I love this album so much. Um, if you're gonna put any Billy Joel album or any album from that time, I'm putting The Stranger. I think The Stranger is amazing and deserves to be there. Top 20. Blue Album by Weezer. Shout out Weezer. Shout out Weezer. I don't, where, they have, where did Apple Music have it? Weezer is so good. Obviously, it's the Blue Album. Obviously, this was gonna be here. Weezer is so good. I love the Weezer. I used to clown Weezer because of Beavis and Butthead, they used to make fun of them. I used to think they were like a joke band. This album is that good. It is so good. I love Weezer. Uh, shout out to them, man. Number 19, Born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. Um, dude, I think this album is so amazing. I used to literally think this was just some old timey, like gross. Like, I just, I never paid mind to this album, bro. I heard Dancing in the Dark by Bruce Springsteen, and my life changed, bro. And then I listened to Glory Days, and I was like, oh my god. And it just kept getting better and better. This album is so amazing. Where was this album? They had another Bruce Springsteen album. I was like, what? This is the pick. It's iconic. Everyone's seen this album cover. It's everywhere, okay? It's iconic with old heads, and it's that good. It is that good of an album, okay? I make fun of old music. Not, I don't make fun of old music. I make fun of old stuff. 
and old heads trying to like argue everything. I do it a lot, okay? I know I've got that reputation, whatever, bro. This album deserves it, okay? Old heads deserve to gas this album up. This album is so good. Number 18, The Eminem Show by Eminem, okay? They had the Marshall Mathers LP. I see the argument. I think the Eminem show is his magnum opus. I think it's his best album. And having Eminem's album, that you were gonna put the Eminem album, at 80 is insane to me, bro. Eminem is one of the greatest rappers of all time. Um, and what he was at the time, Eminem was everywhere. He was the biggest star of the early 2000s. He was. He was everywhere. He was everywhere. He was, there was no one doing it like Eminem. And there probably will never be another star like Eminem. And after the run he was coming off, this was his big, he had Slim Shady LP, Marshall Mathers LP, he was rising to fame, he was everywhere. And then this draft, and it was his, this was his peak, I feel like. This was truly his peak, because after this encore came out and everything fell apart, Eminem show was his magnum opus, and I don't see how they didn't put it. I get Marshall Mathers LP, you can argue it's better, you can argue it, you can argue it, but greatness, I'm putting this at number 18. Number 17, 21 by Adele. Of course this is going to be here. Um, everyone, uh, this is like the most popular CD of all time. Everyone has this on CD for some reason. Um, Adele's uh, amazing. Everyone knows how great Adele is. Like one of the best singers of all time. Everyone, everyone knows. This is, this is even like a controversial pick, I feel like. Some people have it higher, some people have it lower. I feel like 17's good, just outside the top 15. Not one bad song. Adele's amazing. Everyone likes Adele. I feel like she's unanimously just like, yeah, Adele's like that. <laughs> Ad Adele's like that. Number 16. OK Computer by Radiohead. Um, I think they did have OK Computer. Um, no, 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 no. They had, they had some other Radiohead album, and they didn't put OK Computer, and they didn't put In Rainbows either. I was very confused by their picks for Radiohead. OK Computer has an argument for the best album of all time, and I completely see it. I have it number 16, but I completely see the argument for it being higher. It is that amazing. It's like a movie in an album. It's, it's mind-boggling. It's amazing. Um, and it deserves to be here. Listen, boys. Top 15, this is what really matters, okay? Top 15, this is what really matters, bro. Number 15, Songs in the Key of Life by Stevie Wonder. I put my Stevie Wonder bias aside for this one. I could put this number one. I feel like Apple Music had it a little too high, okay? Again, you could argue, you can argue for days how great this album is. I know I love Stevie Wonder. His talent is beyond, there will never be another Stevie Wonder ever in the history of ever. Um, there's so many CV Wonder albums you could put up here. You can put a My Sherry Amore. You can put, uh, 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 there's no way I'm forgetting it. Interventions, I think it's called. Why am I blanking on that, what that album is called? You could put so many different CV albums on here. But I ended up going, oh, you can put Music In My Mind. You can put so many CV albums on here. This is his best, though. Um, one of the best double albums of all time. I don't think there's one bad song. It's just Stevie showing how great Stevie Wonder is. Everyone knows how great Stevie Wonder is. I have a number 15. Number 14, Ready to Die by the Notorious B.I.G. This album got disrespected. I'm sorry. This is one of the, uh, this is an argument with another one we'll get to for being the best rap album of all time. This is an amazing, perfect rap album. Perfect rap album. I have Biggie over Tupac, and I think this album is just why. Um, this album is so amazing, and I feel like it got truly, truly disrespected by Apple Music, bro. This is a classic, and it deserves its respect. Number 13, The Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. Did they have this album? Did they have Dark Side of the Moon? I don't know, but everyone knows how good Dark Side of the Moon is. You can argue Wish You Were Here. You can argue The Wall. It's Dark Side of the Moon. It's one of the most bought vinyls of all time. It's an amazing project. It's just, greatness-wise, you have to put Dark Side of the Moon. Come on. It's, it's again, another one that's like a movie inside an album. You you have to go Dark Side of the Moon, I feel like. You know what I mean? I feel like you have to go Dark Side of the Moon. Um, number 12, Kinda Blue by Miles Davis. They got this one right. They got this one right. I'm so happy to see the jazz respect. If you had to point to a jazz GOAT album, you're putting Kinda Blue Miles Davis, right? This is the GOAT. This is the goat of jazz. Um, and I'm happy. I'm very happy. Apple Music had it really high. I don't remember where. But they had it super high. I was super happy to see that. Best jazz album of all time. If you want to get into jazz, this is where you start. Right? Number 11. The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill by Lauryn Hill. Okay? They had it number one. I thought I overrated Lauryn Hill. Jesus, number one? It was tough leaving it out of the top 10. I wanted to put it top 10. I just It just didn't make it for me. 
Um, this album is amazing, obviously. Everyone knows how great Lauryn Hill is. Everyone knows how great Lauryn Hill is, right? The different genres she was able to do in this one album, it's amazing. I have it, I have it number 11, though. I have it number 11. I'm sorry, I do. I feel like there's 10 better albums, and I was very surprised to see it number one, to be honest. I, I, I don't see how you put number one, to be honest. I don't. I don't see how you put number one. Um, I see it, and I don't at the same time, if that makes sense. All respect to Lauryn Hill, though. Absolute GOAT. And she's in, she's in the conversation for a reason. Uh, but me personally, I have a number 11. Oh my God. We just went through 90 albums, boys. It is officially top 10 time. It's top, it's top 10 time, man. It's top 10 time, man. Oh my Atlanta. All right. Walk in, boys. We've reached top 10. Yep. Walk in, boys. Oh God. The top 10 is where it gets a little... I don't know. I don't know. I spent... Again, before y'all clown me, bro. I spent time on this shit. Okay? Top 10 time. We're going to go slower for the top 10. We're going to go slower. I think I said that for the 30th and I didn't. I sped through. Number 10. Illmatic by Nas. Why was this in the 30s? This is the greatest rap album of all time. The greatest rap album of all time. It's classic. It's, it, 1994 came out. No one was doing what Nas was doing at this time. This is such a disrespected album by Apple Music, bro. This should not have been where it was placed. This is a top 10 album of all time. Um, I have nine albums better. But Illmatic is here for a reason. It's the it's the GOAT. It's like if you had to point to a GOAT rap album, you could put Illmatic, I feel like. I feel like that would make sense for it. Um, as just a rap, rap album. A rap, rap album. Because there's some albums ahead of it that have rapping in it. But I'm talking about as a hip-hop classic rap album, you're putting this number one. Number nine. Nevermind by Nirvana. I had to cover that up. Uh, Nevermind by Nirvana. This is, Nirvana's influence was insane. They dominated the 90s, bro. Uh, you could even argue it in utero. You could argue a bleach. You can't argue a bleach. I'm not gonna lie. It's between Nevermind and, and utero. Nevermind is one of those albums that, again, is just gonna live forever. Um, not one bad song. It's such a mix of like, it's really popular, but it's also, they're staying authentic to themselves and they're not just selling out to make a bunch of like pop records or whatever. You know what I mean? It's like, I love, I love that about it. Um, I love that it has both sides of it and it's so great. Like you have songs like it smells like teen spirit that everyone and their mom loves, but they also have songs like a territorial pissings. That's just like insane. And that's why I love it so much. Um, so it's number nine, number eight. Graduation by Kanye West. I have this instead of my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. I understand, and again, the rule was that you can only have one per artist, okay? I think Graduation is objectively better than my beautiful dark twisted fantasy, okay? I love dark fantasy, I love it. But Graduation doesn't have one miss, it doesn't have one miss. It's one miss you could say is Drunken Hot Girls, and even the end of that song is fire, I don't care. I genuinely don't know why they didn't put Graduation. I think Graduation is genuinely loved by everybody. I think Dark Fantasy falls off a little towards the end. I think Graduation is a perfect album. It's the best Kanye album. It's the best Kanye album. I don't care what people say. It's the best, okay? I have it number eight. I have Graduation number eight. It's that great. It's that great. Number seven. Back to Black by Amy Winehouse. I was so happy to see it get the respect it deserves. I am a huge Amy Winehouse fan. I just saw the movie. It was all right. It was all right. Um, but dude, this album is so sad and like eerie, but so amazing. You, it genuinely feels like an album that could be from like any decade. It, I don't know how to explain it. Like this could be an album from like the 70s, 60s era of like jazz and stuff. Or like, like this came out in the 2000s and it already has that like classic feel to it. The story behind it, everything about it. This album is perfect. I personally like Frank more. I like Frank more than Back to Black. Um, but this album is so great, and I'm happy to see Amy Winehouse getting the respect that she deserves. Number six, Blonde by Frank Ocean, okay? A lot of people didn't like that it was number five, okay? I thought it was good. I think it's number six, though. I think Blonde is number six. One of the best pop records of all time. I was in my mind, like, I remember listening to Blonde a few months ago and being like, yo, this is like a classic. Like, this is a classic album. People are going to look back at this album in 20 years and be like, wow, this album was like that. Like, it was that amazing. It has that, like, timeless feel to it. You know what I mean? It has that timeless feel. I think this album is going to live forever. And I don't think it's too early to put it in this conversation. I think it deserves to be number six. Number five. Do Wops and Hooligans by Bruno Mars. Where was this album? Where was Do Wops and Hooligans? You cannot tell me that this album is in top 100, okay? It's number five for me, okay? Not one bad song, hit after hit, banger after banger. 
okay? Bruno Mars, doo-wops and hooligans, deserves to be top 100, and I have it number five. I don't care. It's number five, bro. There's not a bad song on it. Bruno Mars is one of the most talented singers, musicians of the past 10 years. He's amazing. He is so good. And to see him not make this list with any album, with any album, I, I, was there even a Silk Sonic on this? Was there even a, what, whatever, the jukebox, whatever the other one's called? How, 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 how? It's Bruno Mars. He's that good. He is that good. And some people might find this crazy. I think it's deserving. I think it's deserving. If you don't remember how good this album is, go listen to Doo-Wops and Hooligans and tell me. This isn't a top 100 album of all time. And if it's not now, wait 30 years. Wait 30 years. This album will be looked at as a classic. Number four. To Pimp a Butterfly by Kendrick Lamar. Again, where was T-Bab, bro? Where was T-Bab? I get people like Good Kid Mad City. I get it. Where was To Pimp a Butterfly? It's a movie inside an album. It's influence at the time. It's it, What are we talking about? You talk about, you talk about mixing genres? You talk about being genre blending? And you're not going to have To Pimp a Butterfly? Y'all had Astro World. I don't care. If the Beatles can have two albums... But put Good Kid, Mad City, and put T-Pat, bro. I genuinely feel like they didn't put it on here as like a marketing stunt. They needed, it was it was too okay. It was too cool with everybody. They needed something crazy. They had to put it, bro. They had, they had to leave it off. They had to leave it off, bro. They had to do something crazy. They had to make everybody go crazy. Whatever. They had to do it. They had to do it. T-Pat is number four. Number three, Thriller Mike Jackson. Okay? has some he has some crazy accusations i'm not defending the personal life of michael jackson here i'm just saying as an album you can't argue against thriller bro it's it's, it's it look at look at the aura on the album cover i hate to say it like that but look at this bro it's just it's that good it is that good people are saying off the walls better no thriller is the michael jackson album it's the best one everyone loves thriller what he was in the 80s like you talk about dominating a time michael jackson was no one was touching michael jackson in the 80s no one was close. Nobody was close. It is a classic. Thank you, Ben. It, no one was close. No one was close to Michael Jackson at the time, bro. No one was close. Number two, Abbey Road by the Beatles. I think they have this right as well. I think this is the best Beatles project. I think it's the best. You can argue Revolver. You can argue so many different Beatles albums. You can argue five different Beatles albums. The Beatles, I think, are the best band of all time. I think Abbey Road is their best body of work. And I think they got it right. I think they got it right with this one. Okay? Abbey Road, obviously, you're putting these. Ladies and gentlemen, we have finished the top 100 spot. Okay? We have finished the top 100 albums. And we're officially down to one. There is one album that will be left as the greatest album on the Dilly Ren Top 100 Greatest Albums of All Time list. We are at the number one spot right now. Okay? And after a lot of thought and a lot of consideration, this may be looked at as controversial. But I'm standing on this opinion, okay? I think the greatest album of all time is... Drum roll, please. Ingram on Time Your Creator! I don't care! I don't care! No album mixes the genres that it does. It is a perfect... There's not... It, the way it goes in synchronization, it flows so well as an album, as an album... I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't pick an album better. I could not pick an album better. I think Igor is the greatest album of all time. Talk about greatest. I don't see what argument can make, make against it, bro. It has the relevance. It has the hit songs. It won a Grammy. And it's a mix of so many different genres, bro. There's pop. There's guitar. There's hard rock. There's rap. There's everything. There's everything in this album, bro. In 12 songs, he managed, in my opinion, to make the greatest album of all time. Okay? Recency bias, I know. Tyler fan, I know. I don't care. I'm putting it number one. I'm putting it number one, bro. I'm putting it number one, okay? It's my list. Cry about it. Igor's number one, bro. Boys, girls, gentlemen, that's my list, okay? That's my list. Listen, listen, listen. Y'all can have your opinions, but if you disagree, go make your own. Go make your own, bro. Go make your own. Go make your own. Simple. Igor's number one. I don't care. I don't care. Igor's number one. This is my list, boys. This is my list. I spent a lot of time on it, okay? If you think you can make a better album, before you leave a comment and call my list trash, okay? I want you to go through every album of all time and put them into a 100 list, okay? Look at this, look at this. I want you to do what I did, okay? Make a better list. Type it in the comments below, okay? Before you leave a comment, put it in the comments below. Put what your top 100 is, huh? Okay, do that, buddy. This is my list, boys. This is my list. This is my list. This is my list, all right? And no matter what you gotta say, no matter what you have to say, I don't care. 
Mine is better than Apple Music's. I don't care. It's better. It's better. It's better. I don't care. Boys, it's been fun. It's been fun. <laughs> I had to. I'm sorry, bro. I couldn't do it. I couldn't, I couldn't pick a better album. I tried. I tried. I couldn't. I tried. I couldn't. That's my list, boys. That's my list. That's my list, man. That's my list. It was fun. Honestly, that was a lot of fun to make. That was a lot of fun to make. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Okay? It was difficult. I said that. It was difficult. Uh, I think objectively, though, I think I did good. I think I did okay. I've seen worse. Okay? I've seen worse. Um, type your opinions down below. Type your opinions in the chat. That's my list. Type shit, man. Oh, my.